the hell? Oh, the REM pod's going off. Oh, we're getting something in here, actually. I'm putting this down here. I'm gonna actually turn my light off so we can see that. If it goes off. If you're in here, let me know that you're here. And then, like, not even a minute later, I feel something like, like someone was brushing me, like petting me or something. Okay. Like, like someone was like touching like the hairs on the back of my neck, like yeah, yeah. stroking. something. I think somebody touched a door. Naturally, any institute like Pennhurst Asylum with 79 years worth of controversy would be haunted. With over 3,500 patients at one time, by the 1950s there is no doubt that there would have been countless deaths in the hundreds, possibly even the thousands, within the walls of the institute. In fact, there is even a cemetery on the property memorializing the people who suffered there, many of them being children who were neglected or mistreated. Many of them lay here to rest without being remembered, most without even a marker. Many of their stories untold and no one to tell it for them. These are the children who suffered in Pennsylvania's greatest shame. Second floor. Stairwell to the third. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Oh my god, that teddy bear scared the crap out of me. Oh yeah, so I forgot to shut up this guy because he disappeared at some point. What's uh your YouTube channel? Cheers uh, and Chad. Cheers and Chad. Chiz so Chad. check him out. I'll put his link down in the description yeah, below. Super cool to be here, Richard. Yeah, sounds cool. Yeah. Oh, he the stairs to go uh, up a little bit more. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the hallway. This is it right here. Oh, we came in the other way. So this is like, I guess where uh, the patients lived at some point. Got a bunch of random chairs everywhere. And it's interesting too because these chairs, there's some outside, I'm not going to touch that one, it's really dirty, but they're actually like a soft material. What was that? I thought some of the, one of the guys was coming in. Nope. Something like somebody walked right by here. Oh. Out the uh, EMF meter. Oh, it's just going off. Oh, there we go. Right around this bed. Oh wow. Is there someone here on this bed? They're actually getting something. All of a sudden it stopped. It's still going, kind of like a trickle. Oh, there it is. Right there, right in front of me. And let's turn the lights back on, because that's freaky. <sighs> Got a uh, desk. Random locker here. Not a whole lot of stuff left behind, just a couple of beds. And a lot of graffiti. A lot of people have obviously tried sneaking in here. Um, I obviously would not recommend that because the owners keep a really, really good watch on this place. If you show up and you are trespassing, you will be arrested. So don't do it. Just don't do it. You can literally get permission to do this place. You can buy some tickets, tour it. You can come and do an investigation if you want. Got another random bed in here. This is kind of a little bit out of place. It seems like we're getting stuff near the beds. I'm gonna actually go back to that one area and see if uh, the EMF will go off again. Let's test it out. Oh, it's going off right here. It stopped now. 
how to go up to yellow. There it is. Are you here with me? You want to come touch this black box in my hand? Oh, right here. I think it was a bug or something making some noise over there. There it is. If you guys can see that, because I only have two hands and I can't turn the lights off right now. I'm getting something. Definitely getting something. I'm going to actually try and use the uh, EVP recorder up here after at some point. Let's uh, check out some of these other rooms. Got a uh, washroom here. Nobody uh, staring back at me in the mirror. Whoa, these washrooms are just destroyed. These vandals came in here before the uh, property was purchased and just destroyed the place. I am keeping an eye on the uh, K2 over here. Nope. K2 was going off back there a little bit though. Oh yeah? yeah? That's cool. We always have luck sometimes with chairs, but not here at the moment. Maybe we'll have a better, a little bit better luck afterwards. Oh, there's even more rooms over here. This place is so cool. Whoa, 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 all the way over to the red. Look at that. All got, the way over to the red. You got some red? Yeah, the EMF meter. All the way over to the red, bro. I'm finding a lot of them, a lot of that's happening like in doorways. I got it in, we got it in there as well. Did you? Yeah, we got it in there. Interesting. All the way, there it goes again, outside of the doorway. Wow, I mean, it just bounces. Maybe something's trying to get out. It's yeah. kind of stuck at the door. Right? Portal there. I mean, that's yeah. a good place for uh, rent time. Makes well. a lot of sense. Yeah, maybe we'll just leave it right here for a minute. Yeah, yeah, you should actually. And we'll see what happens with it. Let's turn around. Could be some kind of portal or something. Yeah. You never know. Well, I guess we'll see if it goes off yeah, while we uh, while we move away. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, there's the stairwell to the creepy third floor. So apparently the third floor is actually the whoa, <laughs> flickering light is uh, apparently the most haunted area. That is a little bit startling. It literally shows up completely different on camera than it does in person. So we still got the uh, REM pod here. I haven't gone into that room yet. I kind of don't want to disturb that area at the moment. This room is really creepy. Don't know why. Just has this vibe to it. Got a random table here. What the hell? Oh, the REM pod's going off. Yeah. It's over here. See if it does it again. Well, that was cool. <laughs> yeah. I was like all the way in this room, and all of a sudden this thing started going off. Dude, when I was upstairs, I yeah. left it in the one room with all the dolls yeah, and stuff, yeah. and I was literally at the under end of the hall. Oh, wow. You could see it going off. Huh. That's cool. You want to come towards that again? Come towards the little red light. Just to show you guys like how close you actually have to get to this thing for it to actually go off. See? So, it wasn't any of us, I can assure you of that. Okay, you can stop now. <laughs> Alright, throw it out the window. <laughs> yeah.
Whoa, look at this room. Holy. All the colorful little chairs and stuff. Wow. Still keeping an eye on this. There's definitely uh, some activity on this floor as well. I'm going to try and stay a little bit quieter in this area. So that way we can hear, hear the uh, REM pod going off again. What's in this area? Nothing, just a lot of decay. Wow. This is cool, man. This is a, a very interesting, neat piece of history. Yeah, I thought this was a stairwell. I wasn't too sure. Fortunately, you can't go up that way because it's just terrible shape. This place is really, really cool. If you guys ever have an opportunity to visit, I highly suggest it. Like I said, you don't even have to sneak in. You can actually buy tickets and go through this place. I think Penhurst is in the condition that it's in because nobody cares. The general community either doesn't know or doesn't want to know what the situation is out there. Many of the children are victims of neglect of their own family and in many instances it's almost understandable because the parents have no choice in the matter and it must be a dreadful, dreadful feeling for a parent to know that their own child is living under such conditions. Friggin' love this place, so cool. We're not even on the most haunted floor yet. Wow. Just, just me, just me. <laughs> yeah, I see that. The K2 is going off. Oh, yeah. Right by this doorway, too. I think you might yeah. have something with the doorways there. I've... Okay, that one wasn't me, though. <laughs> Oh yeah, mine too. Wow. That's that's mine's at like area. yellow, but... Something wow. right in this area here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's definitely something in that doorway there too, man. Want to try and uh, do an audio recording? Yeah. Let's see, uh, see if I can find it. I'll just put it on the ground here. Is there anybody here that wants to speak to us? Do you have a name? My name's Angelo. What's your name? Do you want to come and touch that thing with the red light on it again? Is there anybody here that wants to speak to us? Do you have a name? My name's Angelo. What's your name? Do you want to come and touch that thing with the red light on it again? That was weird. I heard something. I don't know if I could play it again. Is there anybody here that wants to speak to us? For that part. Do you want to come and touch that thing with the red light on it again? It almost sounds like a person in the background. Almost like a female. I'll have to blow that audio up a little bit. 
see if we got anything. Interesting. Yeah. I couldn't make it out. Yeah. It, it sounded like there was somebody kind of like saying something in the background. I wonder if it was uh, Lisa. We Lisa? Yeah. yeah. It, so it sounded almost like a female, but it was like very faint off in the, off in the distance. Couldn't quite make that out. Could be nothing. Could be something. We don't know yet. <laughs> off we go to the third floor. The most haunted area. Inside of this building. Oh, this is cool. Wow. This is like little dorms. Oh, look at this. Well, I guess not much to look at. It's literally just curtain or something. <laughs> Is it? Got the uh, K2 once again. Oh, I was like, who's that? Holy cow. Just me. What's in this area? Oh, that's that dreaded stairwell we can't go to. <sighs> At some point I am going to do some areas probably completely alone. Um, maybe even just with night vision. I don't know yet. We'll see because a lot of times you capture a lot of really good stuff on night vision. Um, but yeah, right now I'm still kind of exploring. I haven't seen any of this yet. This is all new to me. Um, so it's really cool, really exciting. Man. Imagine having to live in one of these tiny, tiny rooms. That would seriously suck. Okay, no problem. I'm watching him. <laughs> Whoa, look at these, uh, this washroom. Wow. Is this the shower area, I'm guessing? Got a bathtub back there. It's not much to it, that's for sure. Very, uh, cramped area, if you ask me. Imagine this place would have had like a couple hundred patients at a time. At one point, I believe the whole place had max like 2,700 patients, I believe. Just at one single time. And some uh, random stuff in here. Just a random part. There's this thing. I'm really hoping to capture something amazing up here because um, Chad was telling us that he had a lot of movement up here. So if you're in this room, feel free to move something. Let me know that you're here. Oh, we're getting something in here actually. I'm putting this down here. I can actually turn my light off so we can see that. If it goes off. If you're in here, let me know that you're here. Do you want to talk to me? These are very long, freaky hallways. Whoa. This K2 
was just going nuts for a second there. <laughs> Straight to yellow. Whoa, look at this room. Wow. Yeah. Super active earlier on. Was it? Yeah. Last time they used to have more dolls, it was a different setup. Oh, okay. They look like they moved through Yeah. Does anybody want to come and play with any of the dolls? Yeah, this room. Oh, we caught a, uh, in my other Penders video, there was yeah. a little fire truck that was like on the ground. Oh, okay. It had a string attached to it. And yeah. You could see it like trying Moving? to pull the string. Oh, wow. To move it. That's cool. Yeah, it was wild. You know, take a little seat on your bed. It said people. Good? People. Rocket. Rocket. Puncture. Hmm. Is there a rocket in here? Maybe like a toy or something? Oh, this is like a plane. This is cool. So this is the Ovulus, right? The Ovulus the, yeah. Oh, cool. I've never actually used one of these before. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that's sick. I have the Office 3 too if you want to use it. I'm good. Or that one. It's, yeah, this is cool. It's pretty accurate. So, what do you mean by people? Are we bothering you? As soon as I said that the K2 started going <laughs> off. They're like, yep, we're yeah. bothering us. Oh, should stop. What? Should oh, K2 is still going. Do you want to give us another clue? You said puncture. What did you mean by that? There it goes again. Yeah, I can see that. Every time I ask a question, the K2 just goes wild. Are you sitting right next to me? Yeah. Why don't you go touch that uh, thing with the little red light in the middle of the room, next to your... Sin? That's weird. But it's like spelled like S-Y-N-N. -N. What does that even mean? I That's... don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it has these weird words on there I've never even seen. Yeah, now it said ahead. Hmm. Ahead of what? Are you ahead of me? It doesn't it's, always, like, it's not always particularly accurate. Yeah. You'll know when it makes sense. I mean, like, it did say some stuff that made sense. Like, what, what did it mean by puncture? Did somebody puncture you? I'm trying to look up the definition of what S-Y-N-N -N would mean. And it says, in Anglo-Saxon baby names, the meanings of the name sin is sin. So it literally means a sin. There probably was a lot of sin going on. Yeah, I imagine <laughs> so. A lot of people here were uh, yeah. treated very, very poorly. <clears throat> yeah, and do you remember the fire truck from last time, Frank, when we yeah. were here? Yeah. Johnny Steph. Yeah. Those guys. Do you want to give us another word here on this device? What did you mean by a head or sin? Sign. sign. <laughs> Are you trying to give us a sign? I wonder if they were like too close together or something. Maybe cool. nine. That doesn't seem relevant to anything, though, unfortunately. Maybe that's their age. Maybe. Yeah. Are you are you nine? You know what? I asked earlier when I was up here, Frank, with the uh, necrophonic. Yeah. How old the child was, and it said ten. Really? Yeah. I was getting stuff in the necrophonic up here. I mean, there was a lot of lot of kids here, so you probably had some nine-year-olds. I was just in the hallway that you came out of. Here you go. And I, I thought I'd do an experiment with the glowing ball that they let me in. I put it in the hallway, turned off the lights, and I'm just staring at the ball. And then, like, not even a minute later, I feel something like, like someone was brushing me. 
like petting me or something. Okay. Like like someone was like touching like the hairs on the back of my neck, like yeah, yeah. stroking me. Like interesting. It was us. Awesome. They said this is where you get some physical contact up here. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, something was close my hair, like brushing me. Farmers. Wow? Does it say wow? Yeah. Hey, it reacted to your uh, to your reaction, kinda. It said wow. Okay. So you were kind of like, you know. Yeah, because I just put a ball down, like staring at it, no lights. Yeah. I said, do something or I'm going to leave. And then I felt something going like this. Mm hmm. Shit, it's going really quick, but it said scratch at one point. So look at that, look at that. It's going off already? Yep. Has anybody been scratched by chance? Because the ovulus just said scratch. No, not me. I had something, like it felt like something seared my back down in the basement at one point. That was kind of weird. That was here? Yeah. yeah. It was like, as if some, somebody put something really hot in my back. I haven't looked to see if there's a mark, but... Yeah, some, something was uh, definitely messing with me downstairs. So we got another uh, response here ahead. That's the second time it said ahead. Anything going on in here? This is the hallway. I placed the ball right in the middle. Oh, okay. I was facing towards this way. Yeah. And that's when I felt something like brushing, like felt like brushing my hair. Let's try and go to the uh, end of the hallway. Maybe we can capture some EVP. Here, here, take this. Oh, you have a, what do you have? Maybe it'll do something for you. Uh, Is it just motion sensored, I'm guessing? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay. Okay, so Angelo is taking the ball to try the experiment for five to five. Maybe he can get a reaction. Let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna place that right there. If it moves, we will know because um, the lights will go off. I'm gonna actually put, accidentally turn that off for some reason. I'm gonna actually place my EMF meter here as well. We're gonna actually see if we get anything right in this one area. Is there anyone here with me? Why don't you move that ball? Do you have a name? I want to be friends with you. You want to be friends with me? Come play with the ball. Try and move it over to me. I think we're getting way too much audio from the guys down the hallway, but I will keep trying. Let me actually stand inside of the room and see if we can get anything here. I actually turn my light off for a second. Does anybody want to play with that ball in the middle of the room? Is there anybody here with me? What the f was that? Is there anybody in this hallway? We got a, another REM pod down there at the end of that hallway too. I can hear something. Sounds like somebody touched a door. You can hear something moving around. What is that? Are you in one of these rooms? Which room are you in?
It's definitely starting to get much later now. Still nothing with the ball down there. It's a f annoying fly stuck in this hallway. <laughs> it's kind of just bothering me because all I hear is a buzzing noise. You want to show yourself to me? Would love to see you. just heard like a knock on a wall and, and now I heard something there other than that annoying ass fly are you afraid of me there's no reason to be afraid I want to play with the bowl with you No luck with this, unfortunately. Let's actually uh, go back to where the guys are. I haven't been in this room yet. Oh wait, yes I have, because that's the stairwell. <laughs> place really turns you around. Wow. You guys got anything interesting in here? Yeah. It's going off. The rim pod is going off. And oh yeah. The answers on the spirit box. Oh nice. Oh. Yeah, okay guys. Alright guys. I'm now going to cut this one off. Oh look at these. Old x-rays and stuff. Yeah, uh, wow. I will Hard to make them out but we will continue to walk oh, out that's cool. So this area is actually really cool. Um, this is part of the museum area, they call it. It's got all the old artifacts. They've got tons of stuff, too. Wow. Here they got some more beds and whatnot, some tables, more uh, couches and chairs, I don't know who that is, oh, I guess this is people who were here during the winter, I don't know if there's old photos of the place. I don't know what all these cases are for. Not uh, quite sure what those are. There is more stuff down here. We are waiting to head over to another building shortly. But I did want to show you guys this stuff. This is really, really cool. Tons of clothes. Under here because there's some cool stuff in these rooms as well. Whoa, look at this. All the old sewing machines. That's incredible. It's cool that they have all this stuff. Holy, look at this old wheelchair. That's awesome. There's actually uh, quite a bit more stuff back here too. Little TVs, piano, speakers, a little bit of everything. This stuff is just wow. The fact that it's all still here. Check that out. Look 
couple more spots back here. One that says area under construction. Check back soon. A lot of uh, the old hospital beds. So old. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man. They've literally been here forever. They even have the freaking food trays. Wow. Look at that. They even have all the, uh, the toys from all the kids. There was a lot of children here. This building specifically was all boys too. Oh, check this stuff out. Yeah. An old shoe, belts and straps, I guess? I don't know. Oh, what the heck is this thing? I have no idea what this even is. Microfilm reader printer. Oh, so it's for like x-rays, I'm guessing. That's awesome. What would you like? If I can give you anything I could in the world, what would you want? Oh, I like to get out of